Hey kids, good morning to you. Hope you're all doing wonderful. Last week you mentioned the holidays were getting pretty boring. Do you want to go on a treasure hunt involving the alphabet? An alphabet adventure? Yay! Shh, it isn't over yet. All the 26 letters of the alphabet have gone into hiding. They've left clues so you know where to look for them. So let's get on with it. You'll find me among sandcastles with a stick for a flag, looking for seashells to put in my bag. Bring a ball if you must. Well, count on Bob to make the holidays more exciting. What was Bob saying about sandcastles and shells? That's our first clue. The beach! Absolutely. So let's head there, shall we? As soon as they reached the beach, they expected to see Bob, but were shocked to see someone else. Hey! We thought all of the letters were in hiding. What are you doing here? Don't tell us the adventure has been called off because we were looking forward to it. <laughs> no, no. The treasure hunt is still on. But Bob needed my help with charting out the treasure map and all its clues. So let's go meet Bob. Hey, kids. Bob, we missed you. <laughs> I've missed you kids too. And great job finding me at the beach. There you go. According to the map from the beach, we have to get to Chocolate Lane, then to the Phonics Playground, and finally to ABC Land, where Z will be waiting for us on top of the Treasure Mountain. We have to find all the other letters on the way. Well, let's get on with it then. In order to find B, you need to name at least three objects beginning with the letter B. Polly, would you like to go first? A boat, and I'd love to steer it. Jack, what would you like to name? A beach ball. Can I go next, Bob? A balloon! Well, you got that right! Hey, kids! Great job naming the objects! And let's go find the others! Yay! They all cheered and climbed onto the boat and sailed through the Chocolate River. Soon enough, they were on the shores of Chocolate Lane. It's so beautiful! <laughs> okay, kids! Ready for your next clue! Behind something pink and round, the letter C shall be found. Do you think C is hiding behind that bush of lollipops? They're round! But they aren't pink. It has to be round and pink. I'll give you a special treat if you can find it. Psst. C, are you here? Hey kids, look, Johnny's here, and there's something on his arm. It's, it's a C. C! Good job, Johnny. Now we have A, B, and C. Let's find D. Chocolate trees, big and small. Which is the tallest of them all? Find the letter D hiding behind the tallest spiral chocolate tree. Mary, take a guess. Um, that one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! You kids are doing absolutely wondersome. We've kept a few chocolate sticks of different shapes and sizes. Using those sticks, you kids have to create the letters E and F. Remember, unless they're perfectly set, you won't find them. You will work in teams for this. Wondersome! Now let's take a look at F. Uh-oh, boys. The F looks out of proportion. Do you think you can remember what it looks like and try again? Thank you, kids. I got real tired of hiding. Kids, G, H, and I are hiding in the burrows of the Chocolate Mountain. They're very tricky to get a hold of. Do you think you can grab them all? Of course. I can't wait to get my hands on those little letters. So that's how you want to play? Very well then. Come on, friends. Dig in. Oh, kids. I loved watching you try. But you'll never catch the letters this way. I have an idea. Yay! 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 One, two, three. Great job, kids! Up ahead, there's an ice cream truck where you'll find J and K. 
But how are you going to find your way? Suddenly, all the kids looked sullen. How would they possibly get that high in the sky to find the letters J and K? Hey guys, in Chocolate Lane, the shops are made of candy cane. In a land where hot dogs are so handy, the clouds are made of cotton candy. What do you say? We surf our way up to the ice cream truck in the sky? That's brilliant, Polly! Uh, hi. Hi. hi, guys! Hi, hi Jay! Hi, hi, Jay. Jay. Okay, kids, it's time to find the rest of the letters. Let's start with L. Each of you need to name something that begins with the letter L. A lamp. Lemon. Lipstick. Mm, ladder. <laughs> <laughs> A leaf. Hey, guys, great job, all of you. Pick out the objects that start with the letter M. If you pick them all right, Mr. M will join us. Are you ready? Let's start with little Jill first this time. Mmm, milk. Mop. Hmm, I want to pick the moon. Matt. Well, I picked the mailbox. Hooray! Kids, if you haven't realized, you've already found half of the alphabet. Here's a little story with a few words missing. There are images to match the missing words. If you guess them correctly, you'll find the letters N, O, P, and Q. Yay! I love story time! After spending a few quick minutes on it and filling in the blanks, they handed the book over to Bob. They're absolutely right, kids! Yay! You kids are absolute geniuses! So let's see if you can find the next three letters just as quickly. They are behind shapes. You can see them everywhere. You just need to look closely and find shapes that begin with the letters R, S, and T. R is for rectangle. S is for square. T is for triangle. Well, kids, are you ready for the last leg of this hunt? Let's go! They all followed Bob and reached the Alphabet's Adventure Land. Well, kids, here we are. The land where all the adventures started. It feels good to be back here. I've made this simple for you. There's just one task and you'll find all the letters together. What is it, Bob? It's a memory game. Cards with objects drawn on them are placed upside down. You kids need to match the cards, and when you do, you would have found the letters corresponding to the image. Ooh! Bob put 10 cards placed upside down, shuffled them a bit, and asked the kids to take turns in picking them out. Oh! Yay! Good job, Jack! Oh my god, we found them all! <laughs> Great job, everyone! Now, are you ready to finally meet Z? Yes! He's waiting for you at the top of Treasure Mountain! <laughs> Easy, Z! I'm so happy to see you all here! Bob, like you said, your little friends are really very smart. Thank you, Z! And I'd like to thank you all for putting together this hunt for us. I'm really happy to know you kids had so much fun. We love you, Bob! I love you, too! <laughs> J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, 
U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Hi, I am Bob, and I want to help you learn the numbers. Let us count all the objects on my wagon. One van. One. Hi, one. Hi, Bob. Two watches. One, two. Hello, two. Hello, Bob. Three jugs. One, two, three. Hey, three. What's up, Bob? Four sons. One, two, three, four. Yo, four. I hope you're doing good. Five umbrellas. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, five. Hey, Bob. Six oranges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hi, six. How you doing, Bob? Seven apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hello, seven. It's good to see you, Bob. Eight hats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hi, eight. Hi, Bob. Nine lollipops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, nine. Hello, Bob. Ten balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, ten. It's good to see you, Bob. Let's count the numbers one more time. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's learn the colors. Red. Hi kids, how are you doing today? Let's all get ready because today we're going to play with colorful shapes and have lots of fun. Let all shapes introduce themselves one by one. Square is my name. My four sides are just the same. 
Turn me around. I don't care. I'm always the same. I'm a square. Circle is my name. Watch me turn round and round. And soon you will learn. My outside edges never end. I'm a circle. I'm a circle. Rectangle is my name. My four sides are not the same. Two are short and two are long. Count my sides and come along. One, two, three, four. Triangle is my name. Up the hill and to the top. Down the hill and then you stop. Straight across, tell me what you've got. A triangle, yes. I'm a triangle. Okay, kids, now let's go. Play with shapes and build something more. Yay! Now let's show our wonderful skills. A beautiful house of shapes we will build. My four sides are the same. What's my name? Square. Yes, let's put it there. Now look aloof and tell me the shape of a roof. Triangle! Yes, let's place it at a perfect angle. We're going strong. Now name me a shape with four sides. Too short, too long. Rectangle. Yes, a rectangle it is. And such a beautiful house we have built. Yay! Well, that was fun. Now, let's make another one. We might want to go someplace far. So let's all of us build a car. Yes! Which shape goes round and round with no end? Can you tell? A circle. Yes, a circle it is. Let's place it like this. A shape with two long sides and two short sides we need for our ride. Rectangle. Yes, it's a rectangle. And let's place it so. Which shape with four equal sides shall we place on the top? A square. Yes, it's a square. In place, let it drop. Using all the shapes, a wonderful car we have made. Yay! For resting, let's make a tree. Why, kids, don't you agree? Yes! Let's start with a rectangle this time. Now, doesn't that look fine? Which other shape should we use? Circle? Rectangle? Oh, please tell us. Okay, some triangles we shall choose. Wow, that looks like a beautiful tree. Kids, don't you agree? Yes! Kids, now let's build something more. How about a pretty little seesaw? Yes, on a seesaw we can play all day, all day. Okay, which shape should we start with now? A triangle will be perfect for our seesaw. Now we need a shape with two sides short and two sides long. Yes, let's build a rectangle along. Now let's gently place it down. Look, we have made a seesaw on our own. I'm having so much fun today. Yes, oh, hooray, hooray! We need to sit and eat somewhere. Let's build a table and some chairs. We'll use four rectangles for the legs. Let's place them all at this angle. That looks great. Thank you, rectangle. Now, let's take a shape that's round. Kids, can you tell me where that can be found? A circle! Yes, it's a circle. Let's place it on the top. There's our lovely table. Even prettier than from a shop. Now let's call squares and rectangles to build our chairs. That looks wonderful. Now we can all sit somewhere. Thank you, shapes. I had so much fun today. See you next time for more fun and play. Hey, I am Bob the Train. I drive on the tracks. Passengers can sit inside me and travel to far away places. I also carry goods from one place to another. Let's go and meet the other modes of transport.
Look, there is a car. Hey, Bob. I am going out for a picnic. We'll see you soon, Bob. Look, kids. That's a police car. What do you do, Mr. Police Car? Policemen sit inside me to catch thieves. That's a brave job fighting against injustice. Where are you going, fire truck? In so much haste. There are people trapped in a fire. I'm going to save them with the help of firefighters. Look, there comes an ambulance. I'm going to carry the sick and injured people to the hospital. What are you doing, garbage truck? I'm collecting garbage. Look there! It's Crane and Bulldozer. Hey guys, what are you all doing? Hey Bob, I'm helping Crane by moving the obstacle. Hi Bob, I'm helping with loading and unloading. Good work, you guys. Look at the helicopter fly away. Bye Bob. Hey, tow truck, what do you do? I tow away the wrecked and disabled cars. I hope you kids had fun learning the different modes of transport. It started at the crack of dawn, a day the children would never forget. The children woke up as early as their eyes would allow. Excited, they ran out, but what they saw outside turned their smiles upside down. Look at what the color monster has done. It's stolen all of the lovely colors from our land. Our holidays are terribly ruined. We cannot possibly play in a land without color. What are we going to do? They all sat down, disappointed at the old antics of the color monster. There is someone who can help us. Who? Well, you know him very well. He's blue and yellow and got lots of brains! Bob the Train! And before they could settle down, there came a voice from behind them. Hello, children! Did someone call for me? Uh, yes, Bob, we did. Look at what the color monster has done. He took away all the bright, lovely colors from our playground. How can we play now? Don't worry, children. Bob doesn't like to see his friends upset. And I'm going to help you fix this. But how? Just leave the worries to me. And you think about enjoying your holidays. Do you trust me? Of course we do. Hooray, Bob! As all the children eagerly awaited Bob, he came by, his coach full of surprise goodies for them. What do you have for us, Bob? Please tell us. We can't hold the excitement in any longer. Very well, kids. I have here for each of you a coloring book with all the lovely colors you children have been missing so much. But what do we do with these books, Bob? How will they help make our playground colorful again? Nothing is impossible when Bob the Train is around. These books are no ordinary coloring books, children. They're magical coloring books. Ooh, ah! This made Bob smile. He lowered his voice like he was about to tell the children a secret. Well, children, this is only between us. But anything you draw and color in this book springs to life. So you kids can draw anything you like in these books. And your dull, lifeless playground will spring alive in no time. What? Oh, Bob, don't mess with us. Who ever heard of a magical coloring book? 
This is no joke, my lovely friends. It's as true as the day and night. So we can draw anything in the book? Absolutely. Anything you want this playground to be. Awesome! Now the kids couldn't wait to get their hands on these magical coloring books. They all ran to Bob. Bob was surrounded with lovely hyper children, and this is something he enjoyed more than anything in the world. With a coloring book in each of their hands and a bunch of crayons, the little kids sat down with the task of renovating their playground. The little one wasted no time in coloring the lifeless ground. With each stroke of her crayon, the ground came alive. One green stroke at a time. And in four seconds flat, the white ground was greener than ever. She exclaimed in joy. This really is a magical coloring book. Bob traveled through the ground to see what his lovely friends were drawing. What are you drawing, Polly? I'm drawing tall mountains that go all the way up to the sky and touch the clouds. But there's something still missing in the blue sky, my dear. What is it, Bob? Well, can you think of something that's yellow in color with bright orange rays that light up the morning sky? The sun! The sun! I'm going to draw it so it looks like it's playing peekaboo with the mountains. Sounds lovely. Johnny, my naughty little friend, what are you drawing? Your coloring seems so rushed. It looks like someone is having trouble staying inside the lines. I can't wait to play on the swing and the slide. I'm going to color them red and yellow and violet and all the nice colors I can think of. Bob was standing next to Mary and looking into her book. What are you drawing, my little friend? I'm drawing green trees. So when I'm tired of playing, I can come rest under the cool shade. Also, look! This is for when we're hungry and need a healthy snack. <laughs> That's mighty smart of you, little one. Bob laughed and walked away, just in time, because an apple fell down right where Bob was standing. Whoops! Just missed me! <laughs> Jack was so engrossed in his drawing, he did not notice Bob standing right next to him. <clears throat> Hi, Bob. You almost scared me. <gasps> <laughs> I enjoyed watching you draw with such attention. May I ask, what masterpiece are you in the process of making? Jack blushed a bit. Everyone knew he was the best artist among all of them, but he never liked flaunting his art. Well, Bob, I'm drawing us a little house that we can use to store all our toys. And this magical coloring book and the crayons. I wouldn't want to lose this ever. Also, I'm drawing a fence all around the park so the color monster cannot come in again. What about other children that want to play in this new colorful park? They are always welcome, Bob. Bob looked around proudly at his little artist friends. While Bob was in his own thoughts, the little one came up to him with a book in her hand. Bob was ecstatic to see his little friends happy at last. Well, I hope you kids are happy now. Most definitely, Bob. Thank you so much for helping us and saving our holidays. What would we do without you? 
this playground wouldn't look so beautiful without all your efforts. So kudos to you all. And I promise, the color monster won't be here to trouble you children. Bob was in the middle of all the fanfare. He looked around and saw all the children enjoying themselves. They had forgotten about the color monster. They had forgotten that only a few hours ago, their playground was colorless, and with their little creative hands and talented minds, they restored it to its full glory. Let's learn about the animals. Elephant Panda Giraffe Monkey Lion Tiger Sheep Pig Cow Dog Let's learn the colors. Red Blue Yellow Green Orange Purple Pink Black White Gray Let's learn about fruits Apple Pear Grapes Mango Banana Custard Apple Orange Cherries Let's learn the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's learn about shapes. Square Rectangle Circle Oval Triangle Pentagon Hexagon Octagon Diamond Star
Let's learn about transport. Aeroplane Bus Cycle Ambulance Car Rocket Ship Fire engine Taxi Let's learn about vegetables. Tomato Carrot Capsicum Eggplant Mushrooms Potato Broccoli Cucumber Hey kids, this is the song I sing when I'm away and alone and a little bit afraid. I've come to the sea and I've come very far. I've crossed through the desert, it's so strange where we are. I won't take a stop, I will not blow my top. I'll keep on my path, slower, fast, higher, low. We go, we go, we go. Like the train on the tracks, we go. Through the rain, through Storm through the snow. We go, we go, we go. When you're feeling bad, remember that today is just a fleeting moment in time. Tomorrow will come again with a whole new brightness. It's dark at the moment, but it will be light soon. I'm gonna keep on going, singing on this brave tune. I won't take a stop, I will not blow my top. I will keep chugging on through the storm, I will blow. We go, we go, we go. Like the train on the tracks, we go. Through the rain, through the storm, through the snow. Through the rain, through the storm, through the snow. We go, we go, we go. Why do we feel scared? Because of the unknown. But remember, what we don't know today will be familiar to us tomorrow. I can see all the sights, feel the wind on my face. There's things to enjoy, fear is just a disgrace. I won't let this fear be a cross to bear. I'll smile cause tomorrow I will know, I will know. We go, we go, we go. Like the train on the tracks, we go. Through the rain, through the storm, through the snow We go, we go, we go Never let the fear of the unknown take you down Just remember what Bob the Train taught you Hey kids! Let's take a ride around Old MacDonald's farm! <coughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on his farm he had some cows, E-I-E-I-O With a moo-moo here, moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on his farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O With an oink oink here, oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm 
had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on his farm he had some ducks, E-I-E-I-O With a quack quack here, quack quack there Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O and on his farm he had some horses, E-I-E-I-O With a nay-nay here, nay-nay there Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay-nay Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on his farm he had some sheep E-I-E-I-O With a ba-ba here, ba-ba there Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on his farm he had some chicken E-I-E-I-O with a chick chick here, chick chick there, here a chick there, a chick everywhere, a chick chick. Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O. And on his farm he had some turkeys, E I E I O. With a gobble gobble here, gobble gobble there. Here a gobble, there a gobble, everywhere a gobble gobble Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O <laughs> Hey kids, do you know what happened to Humpty Dumpty? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall Humpty Dumpty had a great ball. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great ball. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty sat on a wall Humpty Dumpty had a great ball All the king's horses and all the king's men Couldn't put Humpty together again Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall Humpty Dumpty had a great ball All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Poor Humpty Dumpty. I hope he gets well soon. Hey kids! It's so much fun to have best friends. Even though they may be annoying at times. It's great to have a best friend, no matter how good or bad. It's great to have a best friend, in happy times or in sad. It's great to have a best friend, no matter how good or bad. It's great to have a best friend, in happy times or in sad. He may steal dessert from your lunchbox Borrow all the games from your Xbox He's your best friend Best friend, best friend, but he's your best friend He may get you in trouble with your teacher Give unwanted advice like a preacher 
He's your best friend. Best friend, best friend, but he's your best friend. It's great to have a best friend, no matter how good or bad. It's great to have a best friend, in happy times or in sad. It's great to have a best friend, no matter how good or bad. It's great to have a best friend, in happy times or in sad. He may be a sore loser in every game If he breaks something, it's you he'll blame He's your best friend Best friend, best friend, but he's your best friend When you're eating pizza, he takes the big piece Often hogs the ketchup and the soda and cheese He's your best friend Best friend, best friend, but he's your best friend. It's great to have a best friend, no matter how good or bad. It's great to have a best friend, in happy times or in sad. It's great to have a best friend, no matter how good or bad. It's great to have a best friend, in happy times or in sad. Hello kids! Have you met Bob the Train's family? Let's see your first finger! It's Daddy Train! Daddy Train, Daddy Train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Here's the second finger! It's Mommy Train! Mommy Train, Mommy Train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? The third finger is Brother Train! Brother Train, Brother Train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? The fourth finger is Sister Train! Sister Train, Sister Train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? And the last finger is Baby Train! Baby train, baby train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Wasn't that fun? Let's check the fingers one more time! Daddy train, daddy train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Here's the second finger, it's mommy train! Mommy train, mommy train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? The third finger is brother train. Brother train, brother train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? The fourth finger is sister train. Sister Train, Sister Train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? And the last finger is Baby Train! Baby Train, Baby Train, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? That was great! See you next time! There were ten in the bed and the little one said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out Nine, nine There were nine in the bed and the little one said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out Eight, eight There were eight in the bed and the little one said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out Seven! 
seven. There were seven in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Six, six. There were six in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Five, five. There were five in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Four, four. There were four in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Three, three. There were three in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Two, two. There were two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. One, one. There was one in the bed and the little one said, good night. Hey kids, do you know why we should wash our hands? Why, Bob? To get rid of germs, that's why. When you're back from a baseball game, remember to wash your hands. Take a little time to join the clean club, remember to wash your hands. Wet soapy hands going rub, 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 that's how you wash your hands. Scrub, 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 making bubble, bub, bub, that's how you wash your hands. It's lunchtime. Did you wash your hands? I will do it right now, Bob. Perfect. Before every meal and before every snack, remember to wash your hands. Take a little time to join the clean club, remember to wash your hands. Wet soapy hands going rub, 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 that's how you wash your hands. Scrub, 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 making bubble, bub, bub, that's how you wash your hands. I see you're coming out of the bathroom. Did you wash your hands? Oh yes, Bob. Excellent. When you're done with the bathroom trip, remember to wash your hands. Take a little time to join the clean club, remember to wash your hands. Wet soapy hands going rub, 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 that's how you wash your hands. Scrub, 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 making bubble, bub, bub, that's how you wash your hands. I love to play with my puppy, but... I know, Bob. We must wash our hands after. When you're done playing with your pets, remember to wash your hands. Take a little time to join the clean club, remember to wash your hands. Wet soapy hands going rub, 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 that's how you wash your hands. Scrub, 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 making bubble, bub, bub, that's how you wash your hands. Achoo! Bob, you've got a cold. You must wash your hands to not get one. When you've been with someone who's feeling sick, remember to wash your hands. Take a little time to join the clean club, remember to wash your hands. Wet soapy hands going rub, 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 that's how you wash your hands. Scrub, 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 making bubble, bub, bub, that's how you wash your hands. I feel so safe now. Me too, Bob. <laughs> See you next time, kids. <laughs> Hey kids, did you hear about the three little kittens?
Three little kittens, they lost their mittens And they began to cry Oh mother dear, we sadly fear Our mittens we have lost What lost your mittens, you naughty kittens Then you shall have no pie Meow, meow, we shall have no pie Three little kittens, they found their mittens And they began to cry Oh mother dear, see here, see here Our mittens we have found What found your mittens, you darling kittens Then you shall have some pie Meow, meow, we shall have some pie Three little kittens put on their mittens And soon ate up the pie Oh mother dear, we greatly fear Our mittens we have soiled What soiled your mittens, you naughty kittens They began to sigh Meow, meow Our mittens we have soiled Three little kittens, they washed their mittens And hung them out to dry Oh mother dear, look here, look here Our mittens we have washed What washed your mittens? You're such good kittens I smell a rat close by Meow, meow We smell a rat close by Hi kids, let's do rig a jig jig. As I was walking down the street, down the street, down the street, a very good friend I chanced to meet. I ho, I ho, I ho. Rig a jig jig and away we go, away we go, away we go. Rig a jig jig and away we go, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. We clapped our hands and stomped our feet, stomped our feet, stomped our feet. We clapped our hands and stomped our feet, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. We jumped up high and came back down, came back down, came back down. We jumped up high and came back down. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Rig a jig jig and away we go, away we go, away we go. Rig a jig jig and away we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. We climbed on a train and tooted the horn, tooted the horn, tooted the horn. We climbed on a train and tooted the horn. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Kissed my ma and hugged my pa, hugged my pa, hugged my pa. Kissed my ma and hugged my pa. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho.
Rig a jig jig and away we go, away we go, away we go. Rig a jig jig and away we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho.